Folks, we are going to repeat what is very likely similar to the early 1980s, where creative financing is getting deals done. We are now operating in a world where rates have been above 7% and 8% for investors. We have the great sub two community led by the one and only Pace Morby. But did you know there are some mortgages, FHA, VA, and USDA, I believe, that actually have an assumption clause? So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the one and only Anna Kelly, who is currently in process testing this out to see if she can assume a loan. And we will be following up weekly to see if this goes through. But Anna, Welcome to the show. Tell us what's going on. Great. No, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm really excited that I'm under contract on a, a property. And you might be surprised to hear me as a primarily a multifamily investor buying a single family house for a rental again. I haven't bought single family houses as rentals in I think five or six years other than luxury vacation rentals, obviously. Um, but, you know, I, I really and bullish on single family houses in, in certain markets. And so I bought a single family house at the beginning of the year in San Antonio, Texas, and mm -hmm. I'm buying another single family house in San Antonio, Texas as a okay. rental. And I have it under contract as a loan assumption. And I'll tell you, um, as you mentioned, when we're in a 7% plus rate environment for primary occupants on a 30 year fixed, as investors, we're looking at a rate quite a bit higher than that, um, almost always. And, and regardless of whether you're going through a local bank or you're going through a an agency assumption of some sort. But what that does is it puts us in a negative leverage situation in most cases. And so if you're evaluating deals and you're looking for cash flow, because of the interest rates, almost nothing cash flows. Um, not when you build in you know, taxes and insurance maintenance, vacancy, property management. Some people forget to you know, factor those things in. But when you factor all those things in, we're really in a negative leverage situation for most rental properties if they're listed and unless you're finding them for a steal on the basis, well below market value. So I'm kind of in a phase in life where I don't want to buy stuff that I have to fix up substantially. I want things that are a little newer and a little more turnkey to add to my portfolio that's already very, very broad.